you did it for a while, very young. You started very My young. My first now year you, was 1998 yes. when and they now, went to the Super that's Bowl. That's what I was just going to ask you. You were in the Super Bowl. <laughs> what was that like? That was that's crazy. Be pretty, it was yeah. in Miami. Uh -huh. So, of course, you know, the, you know, the media was, uh -huh. you know, insane. And being outside, cheering outside at night. And it was, you know, so experience I'll never forget. And I'm right. glad I was able to be a part of that. Right. Probably the coolest yeah. cheer experience ever, maybe. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. In my life. <laughs> <laughs> now, Kristen, what do you? What kind of advice do you have for aspiring cheerleaders? I mean, you can, we got we you know on our website we film them from anywhere from young girls all the way up through the college kids. I mean, if they're aspiring to be a NFL cheerleader, what do you suggest? I would let them know. I have young girls every summer talk to me about should I try out for my collegiate team? Should I go straight into the NFL? And I always tell everyone. Um, that depends on the individual. That's you know your decision, your maturity level, what you can and can't handle. The schedule is very rigorous. You know if people don't understand um, that we don't travel with the team, but we you know do perform at ten home games. And again, like I said, it's the appearances outside mm -hmm. that take up a lot of your time and the time management skills. You know those are important. So maturity, I would definitely say, has to be there. Again, the skill set has to be there. You have to be involved and, and working towards you know your own personal goals and and growing as far as your dance and those abilities and. Not so much tumbling, although that's a skill set that Falcons and the NFL has embraced more so now. Um, but dance is the majority of what we do in a game day environment, um, whether it be the end zone or the sidelines. It's mostly dance based. Um, but just to continue on with their cheer training, their tumbling, all of their gymnastics, and glue it all together with that maturity component to be really ready to be on that stage, that type of a stage, and to represent, like I said, 40 other women and a city because it right. is a team and if they see one person wearing a shirt out that says this then they automatically expect everyone else you know to be the same and for all of us if you see one doing something then that represents the whole team well uh -huh. and so just to continue on study hard right. grades again like Melissa said it's a prerequisite that you have a full-time job you're a mm -hmm. mom or um, yeah. you're in college and you're working on a degree or right. working on your career or you're working with your family. Right. So those are requirements to me in the AFC. Awesome. <laughs> Good. Now uh, one last question. What's the future for Grindhouse Cheer Camps? You guys are excited about maybe doing it again? You guys had a good time the first time? It was a success? We, we doing another one? We are, I think so. I think yeah. so. It was, it was a lot of fun. Well, and I brought my daughter and she brought Lily, her little girl, and they're um, you know four months apart in age, and yeah. so I think that they want us to do it again. I think they thought that was pretty cool that mommy. Was, uh, this was yeah. Lily's first time to ever see me even wear. Yeah. <laughs> I, it was like a great yeah mommy daughter I've thing. Never, yes, That's awesome. Never, it was fun. I didn't. It was way overdue for me to actually Good. get back to you know being able to teach my daughter something that I once enjoyed. And, Right. Share that passion yes. together. Mm -hmm. So awesome. we think we want to definitely do another one um, in the fall, maybe during football season. Yeah. A lot of the schools have fall breaks and things. Yeah. I know parents are always looking for you know activities for their children during mm -hmm. those times. It's hard, you know, to find a babysitter or a daycare plan right. for those working parents. Um, just went a three-day break. So we talked about fall and then definitely again maybe next summer. Awesome. Well, you two are great. They're a great camp. I mean, you guys did a great job with the kids, and we really appreciate you letting us come in here and, well, thank you. and uh, thank get you. some footage. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you for coming. You bet. Thank you.